Dr. Rigenbach, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's great to be here today. What was the topic that you covered? There's a certain wrist fracture called the scaphoid, which is the most commonly fractured bone in the wrist, and it's should you operate on these or not. You were here talking about you know this type of injury with athletes, but it sounds like it might be an injury that you see in a worker or a work case. Sure, I, I think it's I think it's applicable to both you know workers because workers fall on the job. Uh, anybody at home, you know, is a sedentary person that's not even necessarily very active. It just everybody falls, and so at some point you may, you may break this bone in the wrist. If you have to go in for surgery, you know, what's the recovery time? Things of that nature. Mm -hmm. uh, so we use X-rays and sometimes CAT scans or MRIs to make our diagnosis. And based on the, those images and the patient situation, we then determine a plan, which you know oftentimes could be non-surgical. But if the instance that it is surgical, um, it's usually a minimally invasive approach and. Uh, you know, surgery is an outpatient procedure with you know good expectation for outcome, and you probably return to normal function around three months. Thank you so much, Dr. Rigamaki. Thank Thanks.